Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Betrayer. I am your host, Tricon Don. So, this is a horror game, which is... So anyway, this is a horror game, a first-person horror game. So, with uh, set in the 1800s or so. So I'm, I have high hopes for this. Oh, that is spooky. Oh, ammo? So this is first person shooter horror. I don't have a gun. I found the treasure chest! Oh, F. 23 coins. That is weird. Oh, another treasure chest. More coins. So there's like no color except for the treasure chests and probably the enemies eventually. Wow, this is weird. I'm getting uh Shawshank Redemption no, not Shawshank Redemption. Schindler's list. Schindler's list vibes from this. Aha, how did I know you'd be here? More coins! Can't run for very long before you get winded. Oh no, I'm still running. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's just a little... Can I have the arrow? Let me take the arrow. I do not know who you are or why you've come here, but you should turn back lest you become trapped in this place as I am. Cool! Cool! Are you threatening me? Maiden in red. A young woman in a red cloak appeared along the path from the shore and sent a note attached to an arrow. I have no items. Good to know. The thing I will say about the black and white is that it makes it hard to discern parts of the environment. Oh, the run is a toggle. It's not a hold. Okay. So I guess things in red are meant to be things you can interact with. Dear sir or madam, I have come into possession of a number of fine items of exceptional quality and indisputable value. As a token of my good faith, I offer you a free bow in hopes that you may survive long enough to become a regular customer. I have questions about that. Arrows will be free for a limited time as well. Where they may sometimes deflect from armored enemies, so be sure to carry plenty and recover them when you can. I will put my trust in your honor to leave payment for whatsoever else you choose to purchase. Respectfully, John Howe, Merchant. I'm going to rob you blind. So, didn't you say... I get a free bow? Yeah, a cracked longbow. So how do I compare with what I have? Okay, so it does 30 damage, deflect 10, chance 20. 35 damage. I'll stick with the cracked one. Yeah, that's how... Take my arrows. No? Okay. So the game's called Betrayer. I wonder if, if it's either the merchant or the little girl in red who's going to betray... Oh, treasure. 
treasure? No? Oh, is this back the way I was- I went? Came? Ah, I got turned around. I wanna go this way. What is you? Oh, read note. Because your well-being is important to me, both fiscally and sentimentally, I feel I should advise you that enemies are easiest to slay if you can catch them unaware, for their rage makes them stronger. Shots to the head will also inflict more grievous injury than those to the trunk or limbs. Trunk. Please rely on me whenever you find yourself in need of deadlier implements of warfare. Cordially, John Howe, Merchant. People. John Howe. Traveling merchant who barters weapons and equipment. So it doesn't look like there's much... Oh! Oh! Darn it. He saw me. Oh! You didn't evade! Why can you evade? What did you... Did you just shoot me? Crude pistol. I'll take that. Yeah, so I was. I wasn't so. Why was this guy a samurai? So uh, there doesn't seem to be much in the way of exploration. It's very linear so far. Can I crouch? Yes. All treasure chests found. What is this? This is an arrow? What are you? Oh, it is an arrow. Just have to walk into it. The weapons you recover from slain adversaries are generally of poor quality, being both feebler and more cumbersome to employ than you may desire. The weapons are, I offer are guaranteed to do more harm and do it faster. That's fascinating. Can I sell you? Oh, oh. Oh, that was... it's done. First level. So I don't know where on this map I is. But I'm guessing I want to get to that town. Fort Henry. Okay, it's a fort now. Yeah, any time you want to load is good with me. There we go. Oh, this is cool. Tomahawk. It was remiss of me not to mention that enemies are more likely to discover you if you are moving. Crouching makes you significantly harder to detect and allows you to move quiet. Use the wind to your advantage. Gusts will mask your footsteps, making it easier to run up behind your foes without alerting them. Really? Nope, I wanted the journal. What is this for my ears? So how do I... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, got him! This isn't so hot, tough. It's barely even a horror game. Glass bead? I guess that's to sell for to the merchant for more better stuff. Better stuff and things. I will say that that the the monochrome really gives it a spooky atmosphere.
Nothing? No one? No one to fight? No one to kill? Nothing to find? Is there a map? Yes! Whoa! What is this? Oh! Graves! Oh! Shadows? Wraiths! Okay! Nifty! I don't know what that means. Unlocked Fort Henry destination. Fast travel map. Arrows. Indian arrows that were most intended, likely intended for the head of a sentry. Clue. Oh, there's no one here. Why is there no one here? Refill your water skin if you have. Oh, is that for buried treasure? Cool. This is creepy. Oh, oh, note. The Indian king, whom they call a Wirroant, was much pleased by our gifts of tools and trinkets, and gave us in return an abundance of corn and bear meat, which is an excellent vic victual. I heard that. I heard someone stomping around. Is it me? Though the figure appears human, it is only ash and ember. You're gonna come alive, aren't you? I know you are. Crude charm of soldiery. Reload muskets, pistols, and crossbows 5% faster. Oh, it takes more than the trowel. An ornate bell. It appears to be in good condition. It could probably be remounted from where it hung. Why does that seem like a bad idea? Oh. I don't like these ash figures. I just know they're going to come alive. You can't fool me. Can't go inside. Oh, this got spooky fast. I was just complaining about how it wasn't spooky. Oh, it's a water skin. More arrows. Treasure. Note. According to our prisoner, the Spaniards seek to destroy settlements that might be used for privateering against their treasure fleets and will surely come at us again. We need reinforcements if we are to repel further attacks. Spaniards. Yet another ash figure. It's going to come alive. I know it is. You're not going to startle. It's going to startle me. My dear sir or madam, I hope that the bow I gave you has been of reasonable service, but I would encourage you to consider some of my finer wares. I accept coin or barter as you see fit. Please check back from time to time to see what new items I may have acquired. Cordially, John Howe. <laughs> so, can I, like, sell you things? No? I will stick with what I have just for now. What is you? Oh! Oh! I did bad! I did bad! What was that? Oh, I was not ready for that. Oh, I'm not going to enjoy this, but I have to do it to proceed. What is 
this? Human eyeball, though it feels more like a stone, is strangely heavy and warm in your hand. Seems that you can see things that you haven't couldn't before. Takes more than the trowel. I'm not gonna go into crouch mode. Oh, what's with the ghosty goo? I don't like the ghosty goo. Figure appears to be speaking, but you can't hear what he's... Oh, am I going to have to dig up an ear now? Yep. Petrified ear. Still need a... Probably need, like, a... Shovel. The Lord Governor has determined that we cannot spare any men to send to Fort Henry, for we are harried constantly by the Naturals, who have recently grown more hostile towards us for unknown reasons. Oh, you're still here. There's nothing out there. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, dig, dig. Petrified tongue. Uh, why? Why do I need these things to talk to ghosts? Still there. Okay. Okay. Wraith, where is Martha? Who is Martha? My wife. Who are you? I am Captain William Eastgrove. Where did you last see her? On a hillside. We were sitting together. I was holding her hand, talking about our son. I shall find her for you if I can. Hey! Hi! I hate to interrupt, but who are you talking to? I was speaking to a wraith named William Eastcroft. Oh yeah, it, it's a normal occurrence for me. I always talk to ghosts after digging up human body parts. But I see no one. He appeared in the dark when I rang the bell and vanished when daylight returned. In the dark? How can that be? The sun has not moved in the sky. Are you certain of what you saw? I couldn't see him until I found this strange eyeball. That is an unsettling discovery and an odd thing to pick up. Yeah, I don't know why I picked it up. I just, I, you know, I love picking up body parts. I didn't know what it was at first. I thought it might be useful. I personally find, yeah, I find the tongue more thing. You didn't lick the wraith, I hope. Though I confess, I am suddenly curious what one, one might taste like. I'm not. I, I'm happy not, never knowing. Who are you? I, I can't remember. I'm sure that I lived here, for this place is familiar, but it's like a dream I can't quite recall. Do you remember anything? My sister. I have been searching for her, but I can't remember her night either. You're going to have a tough time, I think. Perhaps she's hiding from the Spaniards, for they seem more beasts than men. Spaniards? I have seen no one but you since I awoke in the forest days ago. I assure you that there are no Spaniards here. Not anymore. They seemed real enough. One of us is not seeing the world as it is. And I think it's me. But I hope that it is you, for I do not wish to see the things you speak of. What did the Wraith want of you anyway? He is searching for his wife. I would help you find her, but it is hard to track what one cannot see. And I must seek my sister. Please let me know if you see her. We are twins, so she should be easy to recognize. Are you sure you haven't just been staring in a mirror? Where shall I find you if you have news to report? Let us meet in this fort for now. I should also like to learn the outcome of your search for the race's wife. I can't help but worry what's become of her. Very well. You will find different locations in normal world versus the other world, so be sure to listen in both. Listen? How do you listen? I'm pushing X. Nothing's happening. Oh. Yeah, I'll leave the buried treasures off. For what? Oh. oh, it's a fast travel point? Yeah! Oh! This is bigger than I expected. This is way bigger. Anyway, I'm going to put a pause on this here. Oh, it's not a manual. It's an auto save. Okay. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.